Five. Hey guys, Vass from X Force again, and Scott from X Force Snowflakes. And today uh, we've got one that's been on the scene for the last probably about two months, three, um, and that's the Enwell or Wells, whatever you want to call them, MP5K. Um, that little fella there, which is a green gas operated uh, submachine gun. Uh, look, to be honest, I'm not, I love the whole green gas thing in the pistols. Um, the minute you go into, well, I mean, I guess submachine gun is sort of a pistol rifle, really, at the end of the day. <laughs> uh, but when I, to go into rifles for me with gas, I prefer to keep that to the pistols. I prefer an electronic rather than a gas operated uh, rifle. MP5K though, I do have, it does have a kind of a special place in my heart for it. I'm not really an MP5 guy, but it is grown on me. At first I'm like, yeah, no, it just doesn't do it for me. But MP5K, I don't know, for some weird reason, it just grew on me from the start. Um, I don't know, what's your, uh, what's your take on the MP5K? I like it. Um... Green gas, the mag has a fair bit of weight to it, but I'd use it just on um, primarily on single fire because mm. uh, full auto is going to fly through it, um, and regassing mags just be a pain. Yeah. So. so, to be honest, I was a little bit worried, right? Because I heard it's take the mag out. It's literally majority of it is nylon, right? So we've had the LDT MP5s now with the full metal upper and you know, I'm like, oh, I'm thinking, are you serious? We're kind of going backwards here a little bit. But when you actually grab it and hold it, it's actually got a really good weight. Uh, it's pretty solid. Uh, and you do have all the little welding marks as well, which I really kind of love the whole, you know, Adds a bit of character to it. Yeah, the little I fake mean, welds. The proper, proper MP5 uh, weld mark. So, uh, and I guess a lot of the weights right there. <laughs> that sucker's heavy. Uh, the rest of it's not bad. You know, like I said, it's pretty solid. And for a little thing, man, it's 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 quite nice. Like I said, MP MP5K for me is, uh, it's it's a whole different. Um, it's a whole different. What do you call it? A blaster compared to the MP5. I don't even look at it in the same. Different beast. Yeah. Uh, just that small, very, you know, it's got that maneuverability, and you want to use it with one hand, you still can. So, yeah. I don't know. I'm a bit of a sucker when it comes to dual wielding. So, I'm always like, <laughs> come on, give me two. Let me go out there and just, rah, you know. Uh, you just I've, need a couple of little slings for it, and you'll be. I've still got that in my head, man. Chuck Norris, you know, <laughs> like that dude was cool. You know, if you're from that sort of era, if you're watching those movies, that dude was cool. You know, I mean, and he's running around and he's pop, 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 pop. Yeah, you know, and I've just seen myself doing it. The problem is, how many, how many shots does this thing hold? It's 25 ish. 20, 25 ish shots, you know. So when I've gone from my J9 with the drum mag, you know, um Spoilers. it's a bit of a yeah I'm like really now i've only got 25 shots and i want to sit there and pop 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 with two of them yeah it just doesn't quite you know cut it so really it's a sidearm uh for those that want to go on the field i think and really go and have a proper game or unless you having pistol only games uh some machine guns will be used well for yeah, check your, I know, check your local fields, they may allow it. Yeah. I mean, it's a pistol only game or, or, or a. Semi only. Semi only, I guess. Yeah, they'll be alright. Um, but, I mean, for those guys that do want to go and just have that cool, you know, like it shoots, you know, it shoots like gas. It's got that little bit more kick. It is a bit more cooler. So, if you want to go out and do the whole dual wielding or just mm. even single, it is. I'm, I'm liking it um, and it's even got little AUS serial numbers mm -hmm. um, 
And uh, the fact it's so short and maneuverable for a CQB game, mm. like a Gorilla Blast or something like that where you've got a really tight cornering, you've got double the space almost of a normal pistol, so a gas pistol, so at least you've still got that extra roundage, but still maneuverability. Yeah, definitely. Now, um, operation-wise, there was a couple of things. Now, I just got to make sure that I remember. So, you can't operate it, obviously, without the mag in there. But, once you put it in, it still won't operate. You can't, like, that. that's actually got gas in there. It won't shoot without gels in it. Yep. So, just make sure that if you got it and gone, you know, cock it, ready to go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this thing's not shooting. No, he won't shoot uh, without gels. And uh, what else was there? I think, was it mag won't go in? Or something else, you gotta cock it. Yep. You gotta cock it, then it'll shoot, yeah? Yep. Don't give it a Savage HK slap either. Mm. You're just gonna damage it. Uh, as cool as it is, it's still a replica, so it's a toy. And that, I think, yeah. So that cocking handle there, that's, to me, it looks like it's nylon. Yeah, it's nylon. So if you're gonna slap it, uh, you might end up with it somewhere else mm. or in your hand. Or probably not in your hand because you're slapping it. Uh, it'll be on the floor, uh, and then you're uh, gonna call us and go, "Hey, man, this thing's broken." So, yeah, just you know, you don't have to be super gentle, but be gentle enough with that because it's not proper metal. Yeah. So just remember that. Um, like I said, they are a hardy little thing. They're they're pretty solid, but it's still plastic. It's still nylon at the end of the day. So just remember that. Um, now. Was it? It's ambidextrous, which I really like ambidextrous. Not because I use both fingers, but if I do decide to, or if you're left-hander, oh, you which wield it. I, I kind of feel weird. If you're a left-hander, you're weird. Yeah, weird. Slightly. <laughs> you're weird. <laughs> you're weird. Uh, I'm, I'm not a left-hander, so. I'm weird. Uh, <laughs> but I mean, if you are dual wielding, then sure, man. Like, I'm good to go. And like uh, Scott here said, I really wouldn't go on auto. And we'll, we'll show you a bit when we uh, do the shooting test. Because like I said, a couple of shots. I mean, you literally out in one second. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a giggle switch for a reason. Yeah. It's a good bit of laugh, but at a game, yeah. Yeah. I'd, I'd run it on single. Yeah, I think I put on automatic by mistake and I went... And literally emptied the mag before I could even realize what just happened. So, single shot, awesome. You do have the order, obviously, for uh, for that cool factor if you do want to go down that track. But single shot, and then your safety. Uh, trigger is trigger looks like metal, uh, and your mag release. Uh, you sling. Sling a, a attachment there and your barrel, yep. and then what? Uh, the, the outer barrel. Oh, the outer barrel looks seems like That's metal. Good. Yeah. Oh, and that's actually. There you go. That's threaded. Uh, that's just, it's more like an adapter there. Yeah, you can put flash hiders on it. Mm. Uh, muzzle brakes. So you, you do have options. One of the things that did kind of irk me with it was it doesn't come with a, a flash hider in the box. Yeah, so you've only really so. got the adapter there with the, what is the 14 mil thread. Yeah. So, but I mean, at least the option is there, but it is, does, you know, kind of seem, mm. it's not quite finished, is it? <laughs> yeah. Um, and we do sell, we do sell a lot of flash hiders though. We do. So you have options. The option is there. So you do get uh, a nice colored instruction manual, which is quite nice with English. There is English, yeah. 
and Chinese, so you can uh, use that no problem. So, and then a whole entire box for your uh, glasses. Uh, not that you're probably going to use those. No. And uh, a 500 pack of gels, which, yeah, you'd probably use a lot quicker than you'd want to. And a box with your mag. And it's nicely padded in there. So that's your box, basically. That's everything that it comes with. Uh, it's nice, it's small, and I love it because it's uh, a lot more compact and easy to uh, post out. <laughs> Uh, now we we use the Abbey Ultra, the Predator Ultra, uh, with this. Uh, I also uh, we also use the Black Label and the AKs. Uh, and somebody said that we've got the the copies of the AKs, right? So they're all AKs, right? Just because we're calling them AK and they're not written on there. It's the same place that makes all of those, um, but awesome little gels. They'll go very well in these. And if you got one of these, make sure you grab yourself a pistol speed loader. Because let me tell you, trying to f actually load this thing with your hands or anything else, messy. You'll be there. Well, it's messy, and you'll be there for a lot longer than you want to actually. You won't have time to actually enjoy this. You'll be just in there loading gels, mm. <laughs> especially if you're on auto. Especially if on auto. Oh, for auto, you, you, nah, you, you, you won't last. Out. You won't last any more than two mags. You'll just crack it. Um, all right. So look, all in all, really nice. Uh, I'm probably a little bit biased because I do like the MP5K, um, and uh, I don't mind full nylon. I know everybody now is like, metal, give us metal stuff. You know, it's overrated, guys. Um, it is a little bit. Uh, I don't mind the metal ones and they're cool. But if you got a, you know, if this thing is full metal and you want to go like that, you won't last very long. Because, I mean, even as it is, it's, it is quite, I don't know, what do you reckon? At least a, probably about a kilo and a half. Yeah, most of the weight's in the front too, so it's not back weighted. Yeah, so it's it's dragging down. So I mean, your wrists are gonna sort of scream at you after holding it for a little while. We have the metal rails, Picatinny rail attachments too. So if you add a, a sight onto it as well, mm. that's just more weight uh, yeah. to lug around. Yeah. So the LDT, the little short LDT uh, rails do fit it. The long ones do not. Uh, so that's really a cool option that you can yeah whack a mm. side on it for yeah. reflex or make it look a little bit more tactical uh, also um, oh, I should have grabbed that maybe I'll show on the on the when we're down at the range that's right. you can put a buffer tube here so you don't need so basically what you do you take that out and then Put your buffer tube and then the screw that goes through the buffer tube will screw into there and then you can have a stock yeah all right so one of our guys has done it and not my cup of tea but if you do want to have that you know uh, sort of support it's there yeah for me i'll just sling this fella and um, that's uh you know that'll be enough i mean and you can have that as a I guess even as a sidearm, really. Yeah. Uh, whack that on the sling, have your main in your arms, and then you know pull this out when you sort of need to. Um, but that's sort of all I can think. Anything else you might want to add? Uh, two things. Uh, with iPro, always get better than what the box has. Just you can always get a better blast. You can't get new eyes. And just remember to stop and think when you when you do have your blasters, because we sell bags. Um, yeah keep it safe and then you're going to be able to play for a lot longer that's so, right don't do anything silly yeah you, you jeopardize everyone's hobby yeah so yeah especially with ipro i use a lot of contact lenses for those <laughs> <laughs> but no in all seriousness make sure because I, I tell you what uh, it's only one set of eyes so if you mess them up uh you'd be 
touch and feel. So yeah. Australian New Zealand safety ratings, mm. you'll find them on like all of our X-Force, all the iPro we sell does have Australian New Zealand safety rated standards. So mm. yeah, X-Force uh, labeled ones are good. They actually have changeable lenses, masks if you wear glasses. So just, yeah. yeah, look after your eyes and keep stuff concealed in transport. That's it. So. All right, well, we'll go and give it a bit of a whirl, see how it performs, and um, show you guys our uh, range as well. Give it a crack. Yeah, check it out. Hey guys, so at our shooting range, uh, how cool is that? Uh, with the M Wells MP5K, or N-Well. Um, so, I'm just gonna fill it up. Now, you can leave it in or you can pull the mag out. And like I said, we're using our Abbey Predator Ultra Gas. So, hold the mag upside down. Can upside down, not like that, but like that, all right? making sure the gas goes in there nicely without leaking it everywhere. Uh, and this is why I like green gas, because it's just so much easier. And then stick that in, cock it back. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> it helps if you put some more gels in there. I've only got a couple. All right, so pistol speed loader. some glasses eh? Australian safety so these are the yellows they're good for night vision all right because I got bad night vision because uh, you're scared of the dark yeah I'm scared of the dark all right so I'll go with semi oh that kick well that accuracy is actually pretty dots good dots on the dots I'm hitting the the, the middle there and uh, that's pretty sweet. Now, let's see how many. I've only got a few more. I'm going to whack it on auto, just give you guys a bit of an idea. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> As literally, I don't know how many shots was that, but it was a couple in there, and that went faster than I could even say uh, what's up. All right, so I'm going to whack a few more. And. Uh, Run it through the chrono. Now you gotta remember this is this is a fairly short barrel as well. So anything with a short barrel, you're not gonna have the the same chrono reading as that's alright. Oh, let me take it off. Go on manual. Should have semi. Cut it. And like I said, you gotta cock it, otherwise it won't do nothing. Alright. So a few so we don't get as you keep going, if you go too much too quick, the mag will cool down and you'll get lower FPS. But I mean uh, there we go. Those numbers aren't too bad. We did have one in there, I think that broke at 450, but the rest 245, 250. To see. I'm gonna go with an average around the 250, um, which is not too bad. Yeah. Uh, so 250. Now, if you're gonna lube it up a bit, give it a bit of uh, the silicon, put a bit more uh, love into it, you will get better numbers, all right? So when you do get yours, make sure that you do the maintenance required, otherwise these things will not work properly and you'll come back and you'll go, my blood just doesn't work, something wrong with it. No, it's just gas stuff will require a bit more maintenance than your electric stuff, all right? So it needs lube, it needs, Maintenance gas into your magazine is an important one. It yep. keeps your O-rings lubricated That's and right. fresh so you're not going to blow through seals. 
That's right, so your seals, if it's leaking, all that sort of thing, all these will give you lower FPS um, and uh, a shorter life of your blaster. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope that was, uh, in, you know, gave you enough information there. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Till then, take care, stay safe, and remember the, the campaign, you know. Stop, stop and think. Stop and think, don't do anything silly. All right, thank you, take care.